Mr. Tick Tick. Uh, you know, you, your bed is kind of down there. It's kind of my bed. You, you kind of messed up. Oh, oh, he's even ignoring me. Um, <laughs> what do you think, Katrina? Katrina! You guys say anything to the camera girl? Huh? No? Not a darn? Hello guys and welcome back. Welcome back to Dylan's Little Hobbies. And in today's video, we are going to be taking another look at my saltwater aquarium. We are so close to be putting this thing together, guys. Can't wait. Cannot wait. Now, in my previous video, I of course talked about uh, what this tank is gonna be, my hopes and goals. I'm not gonna go over all of that in this video. Um, go ahead and check out that video. Uh, if you guys want to, I'll have a card, or if not, if I don't have a card, if I don't remember to, it will definitely be in the playlist. You will see that at the end of the video. So, without further ado, what we are going to be talking about in today's video, we're going to be talking about water, mixing salt, as well as cycling an aquarium. Without further ado, let's begin. First off, the water. So, I got here, this is my, well this is just the box, but I have the system, I'll, I'll put in a clip right here of the system. This is the Aquatic Life ROGI system that I got. And uh, in a future video, I would like to do an unboxing and a little review of it after uh, after I have some experience using it. I should specifically say this. I am pretty much do just documenting my uh, experience with my first saltwater tank. Um, in the future, I'll probably do a how to mix saltwater video when I have more experience. But this video is mostly just going to be... Um, about uh, me mixing the salt water and starting the cycle of my tank, how I'm going to do it. Uh, but back to uh, this. Yeah, this is a fantastic RODI unit. I would also like to make a video talking about um, all the reasons and the ins and outs, basically, of why you need an RODI unit on your aquarium. Or at least for your aquarium, for your aquarium water. But just to get the basic information out of the way basically what comes out of your tap water is typically pretty darn dirty it's safe for human consumption and it, it's pretty much all right for most fish however saltwater fish are a lot more delicate and whatever the saltwater fish actually needs will be in your salt mix there's no point to add anything to the aquarium except your salt mix. So this creates the cleanest water you could possibly get. So you could mix it with your salt and know that there's nothing else randomly in the water that could be harmful for your fish. That's the basic information. There's a lot more to it than that, but that's the basic information. Again, I would like to make a separate video talking about the ins and outs of why you would need an RODI unit. Um, basically, you can go and buy water at your fish store, however, the thing about that is your fish store isn't open all the time, and, I, I mean, now with COVID and everything, everything just seems to be, you know, shut down, and, uh, you don't have a lot of options, so I knew that when I wanted to do the saltwater tank, I knew that I would really want to have on-demand, uh, safe water for my tank. Uh, directly when I need it. So I got this RODI unit for that. And it's a pretty easy one to use. This has been probably the easiest thing I've ever put together when it comes to the aquarium hobby, period. This was the easiest thing I ever had to put together. All you gotta do is twist in these cartridges and the you gotta push in the tubing into the right holes um, and add a couple of clips. It's really, really that easy. So that's my Aquatic Life RODI unit that I shall be using. Okay, and 
The next thing to talk about is, of course, my salt. Just gonna lay there all day, aren't you, Mr. Two Takes? No, well, I gotta go get my salt. Now, people will argue to the end of time what salt is best to use and what salt is right to use, what salt does the job perfectly, and basically, from what I understand, I did look into it just a slight bit. Basically, every single salt company comes out with their salt, and their salt provides a certain parameter for the aquarium, and basically, based off what salt you want to use, what a chemistry you want your water to be, depending on that, is what salt you want to use. Now, when you get into stuff like corals and all of that other stuff, it's really, really important to know what type of chemistry you want to keep. Um, this is my first aquarium. I don't really care much about corals. I, I might do something with them, you know, just something fun. But, uh, I, I really don't necessarily want to get into the nitty-gritty of the chemicals. I mean, the thing is, when it comes to salt water, yes, salt water and fresh water are in the same ballpark. But salt water is a different game. They are not the same game. They're in the same ballpark, but they're two different games. Fresh water, you only have to maintain a handful of parameters and you're good. Salt water, you have to maintain a couple of different parameters, and if you really want to get into reef tanks, then you really have to get into the direct chemistry of your water. And I don't want to do that, I just want to uh, get a basic salt water aquarium going, you know? So that is why I decided to go with Red Sea Blue Bucket. Basically, I just like the reviews of it. Um, this says it's supposed to be good for SPS tanks. Who, who knows? Maybe I'll just for fun throw in some SPS corals and see if I can't get them to uh, do well or not. You know, I, I might try it. I have the light for it. I have the salt for it. Um, I'm, all, I'm obviously going to be putting coral algae into the tank, so uh, I might just try it. But I'm not really trying to go for a coral tank, I'm more or less trying to go for a fish tank, but uh, I like the reviews for it, and Red Sea Blue Bucket, uh, the price was good too, it's not the most expensive, it's also not the cheapest, it's right there, that isn't to say that it's a mid-grade salt or anything, that's just to say that the price, the price just seemed right for me, you know, uh, and, they, and they seem to actually really care about uh, the aquarium hobby as well, they come in two forms, the blue bucket and the black bucket, which the black bucket is for a uh, reef pro, and this is just like your average tank salt. However, it does say ideal for SPS, so I could just put some SPS in here and see if they do well in my tank. All right. So that is the salt that I am using. Without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about cycling the aquarium, shall we? Okay, so once I get the water nice and clean, I just mix it with my salt, and then I need to, of course, uh, somehow cycle the tank. Now, what is cycling an aquarium? What, what does that refer to? Well, technically your aquarium is always cycling. Cycling an aquarium refers to getting the biological filtration process started up. So, I like to think of it as a car. The bacteria, which is the biological filtration, the nitrifying bacteria, uh, that is the key. You put the key into the car, great. You turn it on, great. Your car is now running, right? But it's not going to go anywhere without gas. You gotta feed the bacteria. You gotta feed your car some fuel, some gasoline, man. And it's the same thing with bacteria because the bacteria eats uh I i'm going to say eats it's not technically eats they, they dilutes really is the right word 
but they take in, of course, ammonia. Ammonia is highly, highly toxic to fish. It's super toxic to fish. It will kill your fish. Nitrifying bacteria takes the ammonia, turns it into nitrate, and uh, yeah, that that's super, not as bad as ammonia, but that's super dangerous too. And then another form of bacteria takes that and it turns it into nitrite, which in lower forms, nitrite is not dangerous to your fish. Um, it's only uh, dangerous in high amounts, but when you do a water change, you dilute the nitrites. Uh, add in the rest of the chemicals, you're, way, you're ready to go for an aquarium. But the thing is, when it's a brand new aquarium, a sterilized environment, uh, what do you do? Do you just add water and instantly say the tank is uh, filtered? You know, what What if you cycle your aquarium, you waited a month and uh, then add a fish in there and why do they die? The answer is yes. It does take at least a month to fully cycle an aquarium, um, but if you don't put fuel in the tank, then you, you're, you just have a box of water sitting around for a month. That isn't going to create a nitrifying cycling process for your fish. You can cycle your aquarium really two ways. You can cycle your aquarium really two ways. The fish list cycle or the fish cycle, which is the process of putting a fish in the tank, creating ammonia, waiting for the bacteria to show up and eat the ammonia to turn it into a safe process. This is kind of uh, kind of dangerous for the fish. Uh, it, it, you really don't want to do that. You really want to stick with the fish list cycle. But, uh, you know, a month? For a cycle to start going, that's kind of a long time. You know, we don't want to do that. So the best way to really cycle your aquarium is to add nitrifying bacteria. And they have nitrifying bacteria uh, in bottles now. They now sell nitrifying bacteria in bottles. And indeed, I got Fritz Turbo Start, a uh, marine biological bacteria in a bottle that I'm going to pour into this aquarium. You want to pour that into the aquarium and then add some ammonia and then get that uh, tank just ramped up. You want to get that car started? You want to get that tank started? That's how you do it. That's how you do it. You got the key, you got the fuel. Now I typically uh, have always just used fish food to cycle in the aquarium, um, but I hear that a lot of people say don't do fish food. You should really use the straight up ammonia. I'm, I'm so scared of actually pouring in a bottle of ammonia in the aquarium. I feel much safer with just adding fish food. And I, I feel like you, especially if this is your first tank, I, I would highly recommend just putting in fish food. You know, um, don't do just straight up ammonia. But uh, this isn't my first tank, this is my first saltwater tank, but I've been in the freshwater for five years, you know. So, I'm actually going to use Dr. Tim's ammonia, along with Fritz Turbo Start, and start up this aquarium. But here's the thing, the tank is 32 gallons, it's a big tank. Um, and I don't feel like pouring straight up ammonia into my aquarium, I just want to feed the bacteria, right? I just want to get the bacteria to survive and live on the rock. So, I'm going to take a bucket, I'm going to put in my filtration for the tank, I'm going to put in uh, my rocks, whatever, I'm not going to be able to fit all the rocks in there, but I'll be able to fit a couple rocks in the bucket as well, and I'm going to pour in my Fritz Turbo Start and my ammonia in there, and I'm going to get the aquarium started just like that, I'm going to wait probably uh, two weeks to a month, you know, I'm, I'm obviously going to uh, uh, measure and test the ammonia and then when it's all done and it's all clear I can just take the rocks and the filtration media and just put it directly in my tank fill up my tank and call it a done deal you know I can really get the aquarium started just like that so yeah I'm going to use what I call the bucket method and just put it all into a bucket and start the cycle into a bucket you know and this is great because I can feed more ammonia, more uh, biological filtration, I mean, with less ammonia, you know. 
Uh, so I think that's really going to work for me. Uh, and again, with all that biological filtration and everything, it will have space to grow. The bacteria will have space to grow and uh, eat the ammonia. So uh, actually, it's it's diluting the ammonia, but you know, whatever. Um, and it will actually just work in a bucket. I could get this aquarium really started with just a three gallon bucket. So I think that's going to work for me. Um, and uh, that has been this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to stay up to date with my saltwater tank, well, there's a playlist around here somewhere. Go ahead and watch that playlist. And I hope you guys subscribe for more of my first saltwater aquarium build. This is going to be a hold off one, this saltwater tank. So I'm super excited for that. Thank you guys for watching and I am out. Subscribe for more. Bye.